All right, so this video is about a 2003 Tiburon. The reason I'm making this video is because I had the hardest, hardest time trying to replace the ignition lock housing. It houses the ignition cylinder and the ignition switch. And the ignition switch goes to the back of it. The cylinder goes to the front. Someone tried to steal this car, so they pretty much messed it up pretty badly. Where I had to break it out because you couldn't get to to get it to the accessory position to punch in a little punch to release it. So I had the hardest time figuring out how to get it out of the steering column. As you can see, I have everything apart already. It looks horrible, but it's what had to be done in order to get to it. This part sits in here like so. And I'm not gonna push it in because I'm not ready to put it together yet. But as you can see, it's a little release tab right at the top of it that you have to press in now you can't find it because if you look at it it's a big ass bracket that mounts the, the steering column to the dash that sits right above it you have to actually remove this piece right here <clears throat> they give you a little bit of room to access it and as you can see it's a it's not even that one it's further than that there's a let me see if I get to it that little hole right there is where you'll find that piece. And just looking at it, you won't find it. Everywhere else around it is a, just a solid piece of metal. And it took me a long time and a lot of research and a lot of looking to figure it out. I didn't find anything in researching this. Only reason I found it because I ordered the new piece and I seen the tab and then I went to look for it. And that's when I found it. So hopefully this video will save a lot of people some time. I know it. Uh, I wish there was a video out there on YouTube that I could have used to uh, assist with this repair. I could have had it done a lot faster, but um, I didn't find anything. So um, yeah, just um, 2000, 2003 Tiburon. I believe it's the same on the Santa Fe. So any guys, anybody run into that problem, um, and you want to know how to remove this piece, the housing, that's how you do it. So have fun. Hopefully it's not damaged and you can, you know, stick something in the side and, and remove the, the the cylinder with ease. But if not, you're going to have to break it out or drill it out, whatever you have that will help you assist with it. All right. Hope that helps.